<laughs> All right, here we are on our first map in Tombed Valley. TSL Hyun, our reigning champion, is the Red Zerg up in the top left, and he's facing off against the newest player of Team Liquid, but not the newest face in the Team Liquid uh, scene because he has been around that community for several years, yep. stemming all the way back from Brood War. It is going to be Liquid C. All right, so um, I'm. I think the thing I'm most curious about is uh, how good is C at uh, StarCraft 2? I mean, <laughs> he's obviously been playing well before he signed on to Team Liquid. Um, there's no question about that. He's still a very young player. Um, he is a former teammate of, of Hyun back in the, uh, the Brood War days. So, um, and we know how good Hyun has gotten at StarCraft 2. Mm -hmm. So certainly I think uh, C is going to have a lot of potential and he's going to be a superstar eventually, but has he risen to that state right now? I really don't know. Can we look at APM though, just to get a quick snapshot of uh, if he's figured out how to spam his keys yet? Yeah, that's pretty uh, effective. Yeah, it looks, like, it looks like his current is pretty high there, too, over 250, over 300 there for a second. So uh, his average is climbing up to meet Hyun's. Hyun's is pretty ridiculous, though. 263 average is pretty pretty fast. Uh, but we'll see, obviously, as the game progresses, if, that, if uh, either player can actually keep up those APMs. Either way, Liquid C uh, already building a barracks at the top of his ramp, not going for anything super sneaky. And we've seen Hyun play some Terran players over the past few weeks. We pretty much got what he does figured out. Um, Hatch first, of course, coming up. He sends out a very early drone scout to both disrupt and get an idea of what his opponent is doing because uh, Hyun has a pretty consistent build at the beginning. He's either going to opt for a very early Roach Rush, usually of some kind, or he's going to do the build that we've described in detail over the past, which is going to be pool and gas uh, coming up and then moving into a six minute third hatch, then going up to a, um, a Roach Horn, double Evo Chamber, Bailing Mess, Layer Tech, and eventually just kind of push forward with uh, tier two. Uh, units. Okay, so Hyun is going to stick around just for a second to make sure no second depot is dropped at the top of the wall for just a second, but uh, obviously he's the back out of there before the Marine comes out and just kills the drone. SCV is scouting across now for Liquid C. He's going to find this uh, hatchery here at the natural, and then he'll go into the main to discover the pool is not quite finished yet. Uh, so I'm wondering if C is one of those uh, preparation players and if he actually went back and researched, because we do have uh, let's see, how many games now? 45 <laughs> wins and like uh, 16 losses Something like 15 that, yeah. losses. So about 60 games of TSL Hyun to be able to watch over the last couple of months that he can go back and research, figure out uh, what he might be weak to, which is probably nothing at this point. Maybe mech. <laughs> uh, and mech in certain, certain time, times can actually uh, screw up. Uh, TSL Hyun's builds, but well, if you get Hellions in there, but that's the only yeah, thing that he's fallen to. You've gotta, you've gotta do a lot of damage, even if you do get Hellions out on the field. So uh, I'm thinking maybe just the the mass Hellions don't stop until you're dead kind of build could actually do some damage to Hyun. Just uh -huh. keep throwing Hellions at him forever and ever, and eventually he's gonna have to get that third base up and won't be able to defend all three sides as easily. So uh, maybe that could be effective. I don't know, but the Roachhorn is coming up before that third hatch, uh, so Hyun's looking for perhaps a quicker win this time. And I believe every game against a Terran player he's played on in Tomb Valley, he's actually done this. So you were talking about preparation, and if C did his homework, he may have an indication that this is coming. He, of course, is putting up a factory and a reactor. Everything's looking as standard as it could be back at home. Uh, but with just the one bunker up, he is certainly going to need to move over to his starport and Banshees very quickly to deflect this road rush. Yep, and that is something that uh, watching Liquid C's stream, that's something that's uh, actually a lot of fun. He's very animated and um, <laughs> he really loves Banshees. He loves killing drones, SCVs, probes, what have you. With the Banshees, his, he actually like starts giggling every time he, he kills something and I think that actually could work very well to C's favor uh, the fact that the game is still very new to him I'm not I'm not even talking just about Fight Club here I'm talking about just Starcraft 2 in general uh, since the game is still very new to him and he's very excited to be able to learn things he's already got that knowledge base of about two and a half years of other players doing things figuring out what works and what doesn't that he can start with so he's starting with that great knowledge base and can still build off of that uh, and do some new things and and just have fun uh, actually trying out a bunch of different 
different builds where other players have kind of fallen into their routines, stuff like that. Maybe there's some stuff that they just never even want to try again uh, that they that could block them potentially from finding some some new strategies. But Hyun, uh, he's got a strategy that works pretty effectively right now. A lot of Roaches approaching C, and C is just now adding on that tech lab, so there's and not even going to be a Banshee out. No, but he consciously made the decision to build a new tech lab and use the current one to start producing Marauders right now. He knew this was coming because his SCB did actually catch a glimpse of this. And the Marauder's in pretty good position to start doing some damage. Uh. He's done an effective job at healing this up so far. He has lost a few workers, though. Six, as a matter of fact. And it looks like this is finally going to go down. The Roach numbers are starting to be whittled, though. And we do know no Banshee's being created quite yet. He is just going to hold with hold position micro SCBs at the top of the ramp and a Marauder. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out. Hyun is actually focusing down just the Marines, then the Marauder, now the SCB. Oh, no, excuse me. Now the Hellions, because they are still uh, those damage dealing units. But Roaches do quite well against Hellions. Now they're inside the base. They've killed something like double digit SCVs. C already down to 29 supply. And this last Hellion, uh, or the last two Hellions, excuse me, are still having a tough time finishing off these last two Roaches. Okay, it looks like this Roach is finally going to die. All told, 18 Yikes. workers have been killed. 30 supply to 54, and it's 20 workers to 38. However, C did produce a third command center during that whole process. So he has quite a few units still of, or I'm sorry, uh, quite the ability to reproduce workers, I guess I should say. Um, but, you know, this is a nice little advantage for Hyun. We'll see if he can deflect these uh, Hellions running through the front. Yep, and other players have died to that attack before. <laughs> In fact, that he's still standing is, is pretty admirable. Hyun uh, did not follow up with an endless stream of Lings like you may have seen in the past, but uh, instead did just continue macroing up. He didn't even add a third hatch, so uh, instead he's just going to prepare four Banshees. He did obviously see the starport with the Tech Lab while he was in there, so he's got a Spore Crawler coming up at, I uh, at either base, at each base, excuse me, and the Lair coming up now. Still no third base, though. It's kind of interesting as we're approaching the 10-minute mark. I don't think I've seen many games with Hyun that he didn't either just win or have a third base up by 10 minutes. And uh, so the important part, of course, is that C knows this. He's He's got an SEV yep. sitting outside here, so he's pointing up before. So he knows that there's no third base up and has a little bit of time now uh, to prepare. Hyun actually moving up to two base layer. He is sitting on four gas, no, three gas at the moment. I imagine he'll add on a fourth here in just a bit. All right, so it's kind of interesting that Hyun didn't follow up with a, an attempt to kill or a, an attempt to, to expand. Um, instead, I mean, he just very slowly started his lair up. He is still making a ton of drones, though, and a four Roach hit squad is coming back to try and kill even more SCVs. He's not worried about the damage dealing units of C. He just wants to kill more workers. He's focusing those SCVs, not the mules. Mules obviously have an expiration, but those SCVs will have to be uh, rebuilt and reinvested in. So uh, looks like the Banshee has arrived for C. He has not gotten any kills with it just yet, but it will kill a queen one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he does have a transfusion available. I'll be interested to see if he uses it. No, oh. he didn't. Okay. Interesting All misstep right. there from Hyun. Well, Hyun does kill the Banshee, though, for just the loss of one queen. He still has three queens available, which, of course, for the number of hatcheries that he has out is not that big of a deal. Hyun has tact? No, he's done no such thing. He's on 1-1 one, one upgrades uh, very shortly, and there finally this is the infestation pick coming up. Um, this SCV does pick up, though, on exactly when this base is underway, so... Uh, he very well could move over there and try and assault that in a bit. Yeah, he could try to attack it. He could also send his own command center that he's had standing there for a while inside of his base. Now might be a good time to actually have it head over and start mining. Oh, look at that. Hyun uh, actually starting to poop creep at that third base, uh, right as I said that. But uh, the first Banshee is coming up. Yeah, so he's going to be a little bit delayed even if he does want to go over there now. Uh, the next Banshee from C is actually flying toward that third base, being careful, trying to not fly over uh, the creep tumors to give Hyun vision, but it looks like Hyun is aware of it. Uh, Viking is out on the field now for C, trying to rack up some Overlord kills. No kills on it yet. This Overseer will most likely get taken out before it's able to see anything uh, too vital. Uh, but plus two, plus two melee and armor coming up for Hyun. He just got Zergling speed finished. He's adding on two hatches at a time, so uh, that third base and a macro hatch. We've got a little bit of a Roach Hellion battle in the middle. Uh, still pretty active game on both sides. Yeah, and the Marauders uh, are trying to run away at the moment, and this is the Hyun we're used to seeing. Large amounts of Banelings being produced at this stage of the game, and he's going to try and assault this wall one more time. There's a bunch of Hellions that are already in position, though, and the front line of Lings was actually taken out very quickly, so Hyun has to rethink what he wants to do here. He's going to try and test the front again in a bit, but of course he did force uh, Stim at least out of these Marines. 
All right, so Hyun waiting probably for more Banelings. He's got 600 gas worth to be able to make more. Oh, five HP left on that Banshee with only two kills. Okay, so Baneling speed not going to be an issue here. He's just going to walk them in slowly and, oh, collide with all the Marines there. He probably should, yeah, just use it on that bunker with its uh, very few HP remaining. Siege tank is up now, though, so any follow-up uh, probably won't have great odds of succeeding here. No, I don't think it's going to. And uh, he's done a pretty good job of splitting up his units and making sure that he doesn't take any splash damage from Siege Tanks, which I thought was really, really impressive. This Banshee's actually racked up five now, six kills in the air. So even though it's lost most of its health, it's still managed to do uh, quite a bit of damage. However, you can see the uh, the amount of workers killed there by Hyun, but it doesn't hasn't done too much to set back C. His infrastructure's pretty good. He's uh, finally got the third base landed as soon as he wants to. Um, and, you know, I mean, everything's looking pretty comfortable for him at the moment. Yeah, the fact actually is that C has passed Hyun in supply until just now, and eight investors started producing at once, so uh, he's at least staying very close to him in supply. He's got that third base uh, operational now, it looks like, and lots of, yeah, he did finally land it, and a bunch of mules. Um, he's got a ton of lings just hanging out near the middle of the map, outside of that Zelnaga vision. Um, doo -doo -doo, looks like C is adding on some weapon upgrades, tanks, another factory, a couple more spore crawlers going up for Hyun to protect his new bases, and Hive is now on the way. Okay, C going to make a drop off to the right-hand side uh, while he's patrolling around looking for overlords and moving through the middle of the map. So uh, doing quite a bit here. That was actually a really well-timed Zergling, because if that had just been the Banshee still there, uh, probably wouldn't have seen anything. But now Hyun can move back and start to prepare for an attack, which he is morphing in Bailings for. Yeah, with all those infestors, uh, a couple of fungals can be really devastating to a force like this, just a few marines and a single medevac. Uh, we do have C's drop at the very tip top of the map right now, trying to get in a position, but it is going to have to fly past that overlord. So if Hyun is paying attention, he will have time to actually move over there. Doesn't look like uh, he's committing any forces really to the third. There he goes, all the lings uh, arriving now as the marines are getting dropped, so C can't even escape. Fungal goes down. Uh, look at this fourth base, though. That's a pretty sizable force, and there's no banelings here to respond to this immediately. Once the infestors get in, fungals will be dropped, though, and all of these marines are forfeit. All right, so he kills a queen, but he doesn't do too much other than that. For some energy out of those units, and does lose the medevac too. Uh, but otherwise, you know, Hyun <laughs> has recaptured pretty good control over the middle of this game. Um, also has that Spire just finishing up along with his Hive Tech, so it'll be pretty easy for him to uh, move into those Tier 3 units here in just a second. There's not much pressure that C can put on. He is moving out into the middle. Oh, but he better assault this perfectly. Fungal's hitting a good number of units up at the front. The tanks do have a pretty good spread on them. Oh, but Banelings come in and clean up uh, quite a few Marines. There are still four tanks remaining, but what is the rank count? Yeah, just down to 14 Marines for C. All right, Hyun is going to run in one more time as soon as the tanks unsiege and the Lings are going to be able to wrap around oh, no. everything. All these Infestors are in now with the Fungal Gross. They're just going to use the remaining energy for some Infested Marines, and uh, it looks like C will be able to survive this but uh, lost those tanks for essentially uh, very, very little value. And uh, even the drops, I think that's uh, something that C will, will learn a little bit better with time is um, to drop when you have aggression going in multiple places, because if you're doing just drops, then Hyun obviously has a lot of time to respond. He's feeling comfortable, but uh, when you see Teja do drops, normally he's got his big force somewhere where Hyun is really uncomfortable, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps sieged up outside the fourth, for example, when he uh, sends those little eight Marine hit squads to try and take out tech or take out uh, Marine. So C just kind of did two smaller forces. Hyun had plenty. He had his whole army available. Uh, he didn't, you know, need to react to some huge tank force or something like that at the moment. So he was able to clean it up pretty quickly. I also don't know if C needs to attack at this moment, but he uh, he has been keeping up his macro very, very good. His upgrades are all in order right now. He's killed a lot of Zerglings, but Hyun is going to flood him with the rest of his units, rolling it with some Bailings wow. from the side as well. C only has a couple of siege tanks sitting here, and those are going to get cleaned up in just a moment. Okay, so all the Marines getting thinned out and destroyed there. One medevac might be able to escape. Hyun probably doesn't want to use the fungal energy for that. Actually, no, he killed it with something. Yeah, infested Terran. Oh, okay. And, uh... 
All right, Kiana is going to reestablish his control over the middle of the map. C is trying to expand and keep up with Hyun in that regard. He's adding on two more starports. He's making 14-ish Marines at a time. 3-3 three, three upgrades will be done around the same time Hyun's 3-3 three, three upgrades are done, so not falling too far behind there. It's kind of interesting. We're already at a 20-minute game with uh, Hyun, who's won nine Fight Club straight, and C, who's been playing StarCraft Two for about a month, maybe two. Well, he's been playing a little longer than that. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I mean, he's, he's, he's uh, obviously only been playing, I guess you can call it somewhat competitively for a while now, but he has had quite a bit of exposure. I mean, the uh, don't be fooled. The Brood War players had been playing for quite a long time um, before they officially, quote unquote, made the switch over. All right. I would like to, to read up a little bit more on C and, and mm -hmm. see when he uh, actually first got interested and how long he's been actually really trying because, yeah. uh, I mean, Brood War competition was going all the way up until just last month yep. uh, for these guys, so uh, obviously they have to put that first and foremost when they're on those pro Kespa teams. Either way, uh, Big Fungal actually landing on only a couple of units, but does uh, do some damage to those tanks. There is a drop in Hyun's main, so this is the kind of thing we are talking about earlier, right? He's got the big aggression on the side, forcing Hyun to make some decisions, uh, whether he wants to go back and respond to this or have to respond to these many Marines and Siege Tanks. The fact that Broodlords are already out. Oh, and one big Baneling actually apparently uh, taking out everything at the drop means that uh, Hyun can focus all of his efforts here on the Siege Tank line. That is a pretty staggering amount of Broodlords in the air too. At the same time, these Marines are making their way off to the top right hand corner but with Adrenal Glance and 3-3 upgrades. Those those uh, Zerglings, I'm sorry, are so resilient. Yeah, they're very mean. 52 more of them are about to hit the field and the Broodlords clean up that tank line without too much uh, damage being taken themselves. So uh, Hyun actually has a lot of options now. Uh, to be able to attack into C. C has a, a lot of uh, supply tied up in Vikings and Marines at the moment that are still being produced. So really with uh, the bulk of his army being Marines, you can see that right there. Oh, and Vikings. Uh, Hyun is going to attack in with Fungals. Probably wants to try and get those Vikings down as fast as he can. Doesn't have a ton of anti-air, though. No, but uh, he may have enough here with the Queens. <laughs> Look how many Queens he's brought to the front. He can keep these uh, Broodlords alive for so long. C knows he is out and he GG's, but a good macro game to get us kicked off here as Hyun takes a 1-0 advantage. That's right. That wasn't uh, too awful of a showing. Uh, maybe a drop here or there should have been reconsidered. I think uh, his attack at the fourth near the end was, uh, was better. Uh, he just did not have enough stuff. The Vikings, had they been along for the ride, mm -hmm. uh, may have had a much better chance because the Broodlords really were the only thing uh, thinning out that tank line, and uh, there were still a handful of Marines left, so if he could have just kept bouncing in and out with Marines, baiting fungals and things like that, trying to get um, effective trades, he might have had a better shot, but we'll see. Uh, map 2 is going to be Ohana, Yeah. and uh, I think we should just go to a break, and on the other side, we'll head into game 2.